What's going on, everybody? My name is Shimpak. Today, we are interviewing my great friend. Best friend. Best friend that I've known since 2012. There's no, it had to be earlier than that. Was it not like 11, 10? That would be like 2010. 2010? 2012 oh. is when I graduated from high school. From generation five onwards. What? I thought we knew each other in Gen... I maybe didn't know each other in Gen 4. I mean, I wasn't playing Pokemon Gen 4. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're you're a newbie. No, you I was... Day one. I was, you're not even gang day one, dude. You're not day one gang. I was playing... I quit Pokemon... I was playing Smash Brothers. You're, you're like a day two, dude. It's crazy. We are interviewing my great friend, coach of the Florida Gators. It's Gator. That's me. That's me, by the way. If you didn't know, that's me. Hello. So speaking of 2010, when did you start playing Pokemon competitively? 2010? <laughs> was that Generation 4, Generation 5? What was it? I think that was Gen 4, right? Wait, was it not? When did Gen 5 come out? I feel like Gen 5 was 2010 Japanese. That was still Gen 4, though. Like Gen 4 English, it's like Gen 5. Like they were leaking uh, stuff in 2010. Why release date? Uh, 2011. 2011. Oh, and Japan, no, Japan, September 18, 2010, and NA, uh, March 6, 2011. So it was, it was Gen 5. Actually, no, I played before 2000. I started playing in 2008, 2009, because in 2010, that's when I moved to Japan. So it was, it was, and I started playing before that. So it was like 2009 or eight, eight or nine. So what were, what were some of the sets that you ran back in the day that you thought were good, but like, Thinking back Ooh, on it, back in the day, dude. Back in the day, what were you, what, were, what was it's Gator thinking? The first team that I made, I think it had a Houndoom on it, mixed, mixed nice. Houndoom, no speed. Why? No speed. Why was it mixed? Because I had to invest in max attack, max special attack. I needed maximum damage. We're all about the damages. Damages, okay. And I, Sucker Punch was a move in that gen, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had Sucker Punch and stuff like that. So, hey, why you need speed if you have priority? Why? Yeah. But then on that same exact team, I'm pretty sure that I had a Scarf hit Montana with Bullet Punch. So it was, it was <laughs> yes. like, you know, I tried, I had oh, to yes. mix it up on them. I had to mix it up on them. It's like, Nobody I had the will. speed, but maybe I needed a little more speed. Yeah, so absolutely. A little more. So uh, you like hit Montan because. Just... Did I, why did I like hit Montan? Yeah, what was, what was the hit Uh, Because the dude that was teaching me how to play competitive Pokemon told me it was good. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. It's not good. <laughs> it's not, it's not. This is this is why you should never meet your heroes. You just, you just get disappointed when they teach you that Himonchan is a good Pokemon. Himonchan is a good Pokemon. It's just it's not top tier. In in DVP OU? No. No. <laughs> it's, it's I mean it's strong ish, but it's like it's not it, it, it had rapid spin, which was the thing. That was like the thing. Ooh. Okay. So you were in that scarf rapid spin. The scarf rapid spin. I can respect that. Yeah, but it's not. Other than that, it's pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty bad. So, post scarf him on chan bullet punch rapid spin, when right. did you start feeling like you had a better understanding of Pokemon? Mm, probably when I stopped. So, because like the way that I. That dude started teaching me because I went on on Zat, you know, that's how we yeah, met. Yeah, that chat. Zat, no, Zat Fiends. Zat.com slash Pokemon. I went on that website and I'm like, can anyone help me with my Elite Four team? Oh, and no. I posted it and I had like my starter with all water moves and stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, this is not a, a viable team. This, this guy, his name was Jem. It's like, Gem. this is not a viable team. Let me show you a little something, something. And he introduced me to Shoddy Battle and how people are competing. I remember like the first game I saw was like Earthworm against somebody. I saw like a Heatran and a Skarmie lead and they're like clicking moves that do no damage. I was, like, what is this? This makes no sense. You, you tell me these guys are good? Uh, I, I don't think I really truly understood what's going on until I started uh, watching random battles on YouTube uh, from people like uh, wow. Wild Chase and uh, all those people, uh, Wild Chase. Poking, poking, poking. Quando Ren 66. Quandra Ren, uh, MBZ, uh, Hayden, Shofu, you know, uh, when they actually listen to what they're saying and why they're saying it, yeah. then it starts making a little more sense. So I guess in that sense, I'm like a, I'm like a YouTube baby. YouTube baby. I kind of learned, okay. learned from the YouTubers, the old timers. So that was Gen 4? Yeah, this was Gen 4. 4. Okay. 
when did you when did you start becoming independent as independent competitive battler when did your own independent thoughts come come out independent com what what does that even mean when did you start thinking <laughs> for yourself <laughs> you start when you started not stealing small well, sets. okay so here's the thing though well okay if you're talking about stealing small gun sets i still like small guns definitely i don't think it's small, you know, yeah, yeah as in like okay small gun says that these two pokemon work together but you know what i'm gonna use these two pokemon i mean it's not as common like like say like you didn't know about scarm bliss and you just started using scarm bliss it's on small gun but you didn't get it from small gun oh well that's i don't know if i can answer that everything most of the stuff that i learned about competitive pokemon comes off of either youtube and most of them get their stuff from small gun like it's either youtube or small guns where i learned most of my stuff like synergies what works and what doesn't stuff like that like even in gen 4 when the teams that i made like they were my own creations in the sense that i would come up with i never i used i never got a team off of like rmt yeah. forum or whatever but the sets were mostly smog on sets maybe edited a little bit but they were always like smog yeah, that's, that's that's what i mean like they could be smog on sets but the makeup of the team is your own team um and i probably i probably always did that um after after I stopped talking to Gem on Zat and I started talking to people like Key and and Shocks and whatnot, yeah, um, like I would go like let's how I made like a Gen Four team. I would go to the Small Gun OU page. I would play. I would pick any sweeper I wanted. Just pick a sweeper. Yeah. Like let's say let's say it's DD Tar or something. And I just go onto the the thing where it says DD Tar and it says team options or whatever. Like what's what's useful with it. And I would just like throw some stuff on my team that it says works well with it, and maybe change change a monitor. So it's pretty. I feel like that's a great way to build in general. You just start with the one you want and then work your way backwards. It's a great way. Yeah, I mean, that's. I feel like that's how people should do stuff. You should have your all six Pokemon try to be synergetic with each other and like try and go for some sort of end game or something like that. So let's go even further beyond competitive Where Pokemon. Going? Why did you start playing Pokemon? When did you start playing Pokemon? How did you start like playing like Pokemon? not just not competitive, just Pokemon in general? Pokemon, just Pokemon dot, Pokemon period. Uh, I, I don't think my story is that interesting. I mean, I just played it when I was a kid. I'm like, my mom bought me a Game Boy Color and Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow. So, yeah. You weren't a I Gen mean, One baby with the Game Boy. Uh, no, I had a Game Boy Color. It was like a green Game Boy Color, and my first Pokemon game was Yellow. I think I was like four or five, something like that. Did you beat it? Of course, of course I did. Cause I, I'm not gonna, lie, I never beat it. That's yeah. disgusting. I remember beating it, and then my friend at the time had Pokemon Red, and he was like, uh, doing that that Cinnabar Island Surf thing, like getting all the high level stuff and the missing those and stuff. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. What are you doing? Oh yeah. Like, I, I thought I thought he was cheating, and I told my mom about it to tell his mom. I was oh like, no! <laughs> I tried to tell oh, him. No. I, I didn't think it was fair that I couldn't have it, but he can have it. I can respect that though. Like cheating is not like it's, it, I, even even from way back then. I was like, I hate cheaters. I thought he was cheating because I couldn't have what he was having. It didn't look like he was getting it legitimately. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's what that's when I started playing Pokemon, and I literally have not stopped since then. Well, I guess I stopped playing in game kind of ish, but that just translated to playing competitive. What is your favorite in game? Um, probably Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's a great answer because my answer is also the same answer. Yeah, mostly because of Voltorb Flip. I I mean I if you want to say that sure I just it just looked good it just looked yeah. like the graphics in that game looked awesome. Pokemon uh, followed you. Yeah, like it it just it felt old but new, you know. Did you use the Poke Walker? Mm, no, my my friend used the Poke Walker and he brought it to school. Oh no! But I wasn't I wasn't about that. I wasn't about that. Like it was kind of. I, yeah. I don't want to talk about. I'm not talking you about were, school life. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like you were just a closet fan. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> no, well, no. Like my friends knew I played Pokemon, but the Poke Walker is like let's take it to a, a little next level. Like. I was I like agree. on the basketball I, team. I had a girlfriend, I, like I, you know, I, like can't be walking around with Walker, bro. Like, you know, much. I had I had the cool Air Force Ones on. I was, you know, I was nice with it a little bit. But no, no, no Poco Walker. All right, 
So why did you why did you stop playing in game? You just you just got too into competitive. Why'd I stop playing in game? Yeah. Pretty much, like I didn't feel like there's much substance to the in game as, as, after a certain point. Okay. Um, it's just like if I'm gonna play a single player game, I'd rather play something else. To be honest. All right. Let's move on into competitive. So you okay. didn't play Gen Six. Uh, I did not play early Gen Six. No. So you didn't play XY at all. No, I did not. I never played XY meta. Okay. So you you played a lot of Gen Seven though, right? Like you you were at the beginning of Gen Seven and throughout. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And you would One. say your favorite Pokemon choosing Gen Seven is. Well, okay, Mamoswine was like the only good. It was like I think it was like the only good rocker pre bank OU. Yeah. So it had to go on like every team, and like yeah. it's already good. The thing like before Gen Seven, I did not use Mamoswine that much. <laughs> like it's not. It's not like I've been using it my whole entire life. It's like my all my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's just kind of like just a meme, because I just I, I think I don't think I had a pre bank team that didn't have it on there. Okay. It was just that good. But yeah. Uh, favorite Pokemon Gen 7 to use? Uh, like, what, new Pokemon? Tyspec? Okay. I, there are some Pokemon that I literally just avoid using. Like, I don't use them that often. Um, I don't use Magearna that often. Um, Dang. Like, out of the big three, Magearna, Greninja, Zygarde. I, I don't, I, like, there's really anything to have in Magearna. I wasn't a big fan of using Greninja, but eventually I succumbed to the darkness. Like, it's just. Literally? Good. Yeah. It's too good. It's, <laughs> it's literally too good. Uh, I use I use like Zygarde a fair bit. I don't, I, I'm surprised Zygarde was the first one to get banned out of those three. Really? Yeah. It's not like it was. It was. Magirna's like the most oppressive, I think. But Zygarde just there's way too many sets of Zygarde. That's there's way too many sets with all of them, which is the problem. And they and they do all the sets really well. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite like. Pokemon that I use in Gen 7. Um, I like I liked using Feeny before everyone else started using Feeny. Uh, okay, how about this? Rate the Tapus. Best word. Rate, rate the Tapus. Like, yeah. from likableness or just how yeah. good they are? How good, your opinion. In draft or just Smogon? Let's go draft. Uh, well, I I don't like Lele is banned all the time, so I can't really comment. I, I've never. Do you think Lele would be better than Coco? I don't know. Like I've gotten to use Coco, right? Yeah. And that thing is insane. Yeah. Because even if it's like bad matchup attacking wise, you can just click screens or you can just click taunt and defog and all these other things. Yeah. Um, and it's just too fast. So like. Coco's, de Coco's definitely top two. I I've never gotten to use Lele. Lele, I guess Lele just seems oppressive because you might not have a switch in because like not that many people draft a dark type. Yeah. Um, and like a steel type might, it probably just gets too AKO'd. Um, yeah, it can and then like the energy fire too. Yeah, and then like the utility from Psychic Terrain could yeah. really make a team just be over the top. So I, I could see like why Lele would be the best one. Um, so I, I guess Lele, Coco. I never got to use Bulu or Fini. Uh, Double Bulu. I mean, Bulu is the same thing as Lele in the sense that you can't really switch into it. There we go. Um, Feeny's just Feeny's probably just like better in doubles, to be honest. Then, yeah, yeah, Feeny's probably really good in doubles. Last. Yeah, probably Feeny's last because like it's versatile ish, like it can do a lot of things, like it can be Nature's Madness or Calm Mind or Choice in some way, but I don't know if it does any of those like really, really, really well. But like Bulu, like it can just be banded and do really well, or Scarf, or like Screen. Can you screen that? Does it get live screen? I don't know if it gets both. It does, but it's slow. Or like the the sub seed set. There's there's a lot of it can do a lot of things. Like if you think, because like you can just bring banded if they don't have a switch in, and if they do, you can just do leech seed stuff. Yeah, I mean the problem with screens Bulu is that every defog is falling. So yeah, it gets coverage. It gets coverage. Just saying. Yeah, we're just so, going yeah. to pick Stone Edge against the Pokemon. Pokemon. Let's just go with that because I'm I, I like damage. So let's just go. Damage. Lele, That's a Lele, great Coco, Blue, Let's do that. 
So let's transition into your Pokemon team for draft for the WB. You got some damages. You got your fair share of damages. Yeah. I mean, my first four Pokemon do an immense amount of damage. Like, we talking about some high stats. We talking about some big stats. There's no Mammoth Slime there, but still damage. Damage is damaged, and you will be damaged by my team. There's no avoiding that. It's coming. Like, there's so, no switches to some of these Pokemon. Like, yeah. Zorora is too versatile to really try and switch into it. I mean, you can probably try and check it. A uh, AV Lando, but, you know, AV. you can't really. Keldeo. It, people, like, it, it's one-dimensional, it sure. Yeah. But... It, you can't really like if you if your team can't handle it it's, it just can't like you can get skull burned on switching secret sword targets your defense so if you try to ev a certain way you can get punished for that like it, ha it has setup options it has you, stopping you from setting up with taunt like it it, it does a lot like sword dance the aqua jet yeah. mv yeah good job it's like, same thing same thing with tran and like you can't switch into these mons depending on their sets it's like or kevin even Durant. if you know their sets it's like kevin Durant. Is it Kevin Durant? Are you really making basketball references? Yeah. yeah. Like you, you know what Kevin Durant's gonna do. It doesn't matter. Hey, by the time this gets uploaded, the Raptors could be champions. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh no. Speaking of the Raptors, you drafted Archon, Archeov. Did you just call it Archon? Can yeah, you show some I, respect? I, 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 I. You drafted Archeov. That's another mod that actually does an insane amount of damage. Like actually insane. Like I didn't know it's stats Special attack. Uh, before drafting it, but like. I didn't know I had such a high special attack. It's like 110 or something. It's, it's yeah. really high. So it does damage. It, obviously, it does not take hits. Like, even if you tickle it, it's going to be yeah. useless. But hey, that's fine. That's completely fine. But Jillian attack is, is pretty fast. It'll be interesting to use. I better not see any, like, defeatist meme or anything. Because I'm not a defeatist. I'm literally, I'm literally a back-to-back. -back, well, not back-to-back. -back, but a two-time top 10 showdown. Uh, Ballard. Okay. So no no defeatist. Did you invent that? Invent what? The road to top ten. <laughs> like I don't wanna like I know like Joey does like five million. I don't wanna brag or anything, but the, you know, I might have done the original on Pokemon Online. You're the first <laughs> one. I don't actually know. I don't know. Maybe. Should have said yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I, I'm the original Pokemon. Maybe the only Pokemon Online road to top tenner. I'd like to see Joey go on Pokemon Online in 2019 to a road to top 10. I'd like to see him try. I don't think he would. Because he can't. I don't think anybody would want to see that. There would be like four <laughs> battles. I don't even think people use that. I'm pretty sure it's just Chinese people. All right. So going back to your draft. Do you do, you do anything in specific in terms of typing, in terms of speed, in terms of... I mean, obviously, this... you, you got to go with the entry hazards, but outside of that, like, is there anything in particular that you, is there anything on your checklist? Like, yeah, I got to have this, I got to have this, I got to have this. Uh, For this one, no. Like, because it was like, it's like WBE last thing before Sword and Shield. I just picked yeah. a whole bunch of Pokemon that I wanted, because like, once Sword and Shield comes out, I'm probably going to just pick a whole bunch of like new stuff that hopefully that's just like, you know, fresh. So okay. I just want to pick a lot of stuff that I've used before, but maybe then it gets used enough um like i wanted to use zara again for sure um i've used tran a bunch but it's been a while it's been a while bring the homie back the homie yeah and i think the apa was the first time i got to use keldeo it it's not fun clicking skull and secret sword but but it is fun but it is in the it same really sense is. it kind of is like when you when you when you're running the calcs and, and also keldeo is like deceivingly really hard to kill like yeah. it actually like it's not like it was a 90 90 90 or something like that and like it's typing gives it some pretty good resistances like a couple clutch ones like steel and fire um so yeah just like you're not gonna kill it with a not stab attack super yeah good, i mean yeah you actually you actually will um so i just picked a couple things that they're like comfortable ish but i still want to use them a little more and then that was really it. I didn't really pick because I'm in the middle of the draft. Like I didn't really have the luxury of picking like dual cores or anything like that too much. Yeah. Just because there's there's so many people in the draft. Like every time I pick, there's almost 30 picks or something before it comes back to me. Speaking so of that, of is there any Pokemon that you regret not being able to pick because of that crowded format? Besides Mamoswine? I, I don't know why Cybertron took it round two. I don't know what you're doing, bro. You know that's my Pokemon. 
I'm, I think I play against him too. I'm you coming say, for you. You say that there's a rivalry now? The Mammoth Swan rivalry? I guess, I, you know, okay, maybe it's a little, I don't want to get too hot in here, but I did, I did crush him with one. So maybe that's why he picked it. I understand. Like, I, I did destroy him with that freeze dry special Mammoth Swan. I remember that. I think I forgot. Uh, I mean, it's a good Pokemon. I understand why it went round two, but it's like, I kind of wanted it. I don't know, but that is me. What? What? It's Tabu. broken. Tabu Bulu. I'm Bulu Gang. What do you mean? What Bulu Gang what? Mammoth Swan just destroys Bulu. I'm, I'm still what? Bulu Gang. I don't care. I don't okay. care if Mammoth Swan beats you. Okay, I'm Memo Gang, and it's not on my team, which is unfortunate. Cybertron, we're friends, so if you want to do a little trade, you know, we're buddy buddy, right? Right? A little trade. I'll give you. I'll give you my. Uh, what was my tier two? Zero. <sighs> ah, I need those. But we'll, we'll see. But yeah, it's not yeah. on my team, and I'm pretty sure that's been on. I've drafted it every time I could draft it, pretty much. So that's unfortunate. Puka Move is on the team though. That's like the second. That's like the secondary mascot, or maybe now it's a primary mascot. I don't even know. All right. Hello. Anything else? Is that it? What was? Should I ask about the heat set? Ask whatever you want. All right. So I asked Envy this question. I asked him, "Who is a rival that you have when you play in the draft league format?" And before I, I could even finish the sentence, he instantly named you. Is he what? is he online right now? You think he would come in here? I don't think this. Wait, he he just missed. Um, it's twelve o'clock. I mean, he just he just typed in the thing like fifteen minutes ago. Okay, let me let me ask you this. I'm I'm the interviewer now. Okay. Why do you think Envy said that? I think this was pre APA. He, I don't think he ever played us in doubles. He played you once in the GBA. Yeah, we so we've played once in the GBA. We played in the the Let's Go thing, Let's uh, go. and then we. We embarrassed him on that showdown live where he brought a Butterfree against the Goon Squad. Okay. <laughs> so I think he said that because every other person that he's played in the Jurassic League format, he hasn't, like, his, the games go back and forth between, like, that one game that you had with the Double A, the Alakazam, the Pursuit, the Shadow Sneak. That was a little yeah. high intense. There's a high intensity in that. Which, like, neither of you knew what play to make. So you just flipped the coin. So I feel like yeah. games like that, they just spark a rivalry. I think that okay, sure. inspired maybe, him maybe to say that. Maybe took it took a little bit to heart when, you know, MV comes in, he destroys everyone in his in season six of GBA or whatever. Like, he's doing really well. Oh, dude, MV the guy. And then newbie little baby Gator comes in season was seven. That, was that week one? The week one, my first ever draft league game in the GBA. <laughs> Easy. I think I think that was the best game that week too. I think all the others were really close as far as differential is concerned. I think I 3 0 him or something like that, which was like the highest one. I was like, you know what? I'm here. I think he took, I think maybe he took that to, to heart a little bit, which is fine. Understandable. Let, let's just let the record show. This man has never beaten me. Just let's just hype it up now. I think we play, we play at week six or I don't remember when it was. We play at some point. We just hype it up now. He might get his revenge. I feel like he will. Because this time around, my team is very, very just all over the place. Because I was in the middle. I just I picked random stuff. But he said it right there. He said, why am I? I asked, why am I your rival? And he said, because nobody can beat me but you. <laughs> That's interesting. Because I, I like his team too. Because I I, I really like that set up. Like, but that just me. That just me. I just like this. I just like this set up. Yeah. Yeah, Anyways, he'll, he'll get his revenge for sure, or not? Maybe not. I, I mean, I, well, hopefully it's a good show because so, all the battles are still they're still good, except that Butterfee battle. That doesn't that's not really a battle. Yeah. So back to the question: Who would you say is your rival? I mean, you play rival... me a couple times. You play you play a couple. You play me a couple times. I mean, I, I mean all, all our rival. games were you know pretty back and forth ish. Like, but you're not my rival though. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. I, 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 every I time we play you. each other, whenever I have to play you, I'm just like, ugh. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, to yeah, play. yeah. You know, like, um, 
Like I, I like playing against A Drive, even though he's crushed me a bajillion times. Yeah. Um, because it's just a unique matchup. Like I think the way that he plays is definitely different than the way most of the other people play. Like when I go against like standard dot player, I'm not gonna I can't like name call. Like when I go against standard dot player and they make standard dot play, I'm like ready, you know? Yeah. And like and I usually I usually try to have things ready for when they even make like a, a power play. They'll make like a prediction or something, you know? Yeah. But when A Drive makes a power player prediction, it's game ending every single time. It, it, whether whoever wins, who knows? But it's someone's losing the game when he makes a play. Yeah. Uh, and also there there have been multiple times where I lost him where it was kind of unfortunate. Uh in the in the MBL when we thought his Cartana was scarf yeah, because that was that know, wasn't we that somebody was... somebody was... messed up the speed. Yeah. And then uh recently in the APA where he froze my oven, which I don't know how that's possible. It's like my Rotom Heat turned into a Rotom Freeze. Uh and that was what if, awesome. what if that oh shoot, what if that's how it worked? That'd be so sick. Oh like if you get frozen, you don't actually so you, it's like a status absorber Pokemon. Yeah. And, and it just changes form based on what status is inflicted on it. Yeah. That'd be interesting. That was actually really random, but actually that sounds really cool. But yeah. you know they, they will never do that. Pokemon will never do that, unfortunately. You don't think so? Okay, I'll have like a little bit of hope. There's but... Komala. Yeah, but you're talking about changing the whole Rotom thing. You'd have to make an electric poison or and something for toxic. Like you'd have to like change stuff up. I that'd be like a that'd be like a greasy uh a greasy? A grill. That'd be like a grill. Rotom grill. What, so grilling stuff now is poison? <laughs> what is wrong? I'm vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. Yeah. I don't know. Like what, what's like what's like a it's like a poisonous machine. I don't. I don't know. Th this is see. This is why we're not content creators. So we're not creative. We don't. We don't know. We can't even think of electric poison. Is there even electric poison? Is that even a typing? Electric poison. I don't I think that's a typing. Because that's four times ground week. Or maybe because Game Freak can't think of something that would be electric poison. Jeez. And there it is. We're not the ones that aren't creative. It's Game Freak. They can't even think of some electric poison type. That actually just does sound like a cool idea, but they won't do that. But yeah, like probably a, like a drive. A, like a grill. Sure, but probably a drive just because I think he's gotten the better of me a lot of the time. And either a drive or wolf, because wolf's games, all of them are really close. And I know, like, I feel like it's high. It's it's really high level play when when we're making plays in that game, just because. He, like I, I really try to think when I'm playing because he's a VGC champion, dude. Like, I, like there's just something about like his name, you know, just the the like the pedigree, Wolf Wolfie Glick, VGC champion, Panda I like Global. Him, I like to call him Wolfred, but that's just me. Wolfred, it's just it's just something about playing. It's just like that extra level of like pressure and like I want to try a little bit harder. Yeah, that's a that's a shame sometimes though. Like when you have that stigma, because it's like you're getting everyone's best, but then. Like how do I would you... I would love I would love to get everyone's best. Personally, uh, it's, it's yeah. the same thing when I play like Cybertron too. It's, it's just it's just a little that, that little extra level, you know. But I don't know if I would consider anyone like rival-ish. Like if we're taking if we're saying rival in the same way that Envy declared me as a rival, then yeah. 100% A Drive because he's gotten the best of me like every single time. All right, so to flip the question, who is someone that you haven't played in the WB? There's 20 other, co there's 20 coaches. There's got to be someone you haven't played that you are looking forward to playing in this season. I mean, they could also not even be in your schedule because you could obviously just play them in the playoffs. There's, there's a lot. I mean, who have I? I haven't played. Well, there's a lot of people that I'm in the league with for the first time, right? Yeah. Like I got to play Leo, I guess, already for the first time. Um, I mean, there's Nexus, I guess. Even though we technically played for let's not, let's, let's not talk about let's go. I mean, it's a thing. Uh, and he thing. recently called me out saying he wants revenge on me when, uh, a little bit on revenge. He, he said he wanted a little song song. I'm, I'm here. Um, I wouldn't mind playing Steve since he's no. Well, you claim that you founded draft or some nonsense, but come on, dude. I mean, our chisel's videos don't. I mean, he unless all his videos, <laughs> and the only video that I have is extremely, extremely. It's not a good video, so I also probably unlisted that video. But I can I can publish it. Okay, I, 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 I'm just saying, like you're the one that claimed it. But may, probably probably Nexus or, or Steve, probably one of those two. I don't know if I actually play any of them though. I don't actually know who I play. 
Well, thank you for the interview. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. That's it. What about have fun? Have fun. Or, or you can, you know, when I, when I, <clears throat> before me and Envy played, this is what I, this is what I told him before our game, the last time we played. I said, I hope you have the worst luck possible and absolutely no fun. Okay, champ. That's what I told him, bro. Just a little banter. That's a little weird, champ. Yeah. <laughs> <Just a little laughs> <banter. laughs> Why you just tell me that, dude? That would, that would be more than a, just a good luck. That was, that was just like a half-ass good luck. You didn't even mean that. That's crazy. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean good luck to you at all. Like, I hate luck. Like, honestly, like, if I luck somebody, I wouldn't feel good about it. I want to outplay them. I want to end... I want them to think that, wow, I stood no chance against him, and I lucked him. That's what I want people to think when they play me. Oh, that's what you want? That's the ideal scenario. Hey, bro, I'll take hacks whenever I can get it. Or there's even the luck where you flip a coin. You know, sometimes you just let just let luck decide your future, dude. Just flip I, t I, I think that's also luck. Like, Keldeo, Titar, Lottie. That, like, that's uh, luck. That's not skill at all. Sometimes. It, it depends, like, if you what resources you think you might need ish but yeah sometimes, yeah, uh, it's, sometimes yeah. it's just raw 50 50 and you know what in those cases in those situations i'm not thinking because the second i start thinking i i might i'm gonna regret it i'm just gonna flip a coin well good luck <laughs>